I think Batman will be around forever. The character first debuted in Detective Comics 27 in 1939, so Batman is so old that my grandpa had the chance to read his comics when he was a kid. Batman is older than World War II, which is pretty crazy. The point I'm trying to make is that the character is really friggin' old, but he doesn't feel old. Even though he's been around for longer than probably anyone watching this video, he still feels current and modern. So. Why is that? Well, it's because he and his cast of friends and villains get refreshed. New interpretations of the character come out all the time. The latest Batman movie just came out earlier this year at the time of recording. Plus, Batman comics haven't stopped running. You get probably six or more new comic issues featuring Batman every single month, considering that he has his own books, plus he shows up in Justice League books, plus he peeks his head in the odd book like Swamp Thing or the Sandman every now and then. We just kind of accept this, but if you think about it, it's kind of wild that a character like this has been popular for so long. If you look at any other story, it has a beginning a middle and an end. For instance, The Great Gatsby is a single book. You're not looking for a new chapter next month because the story's over by the book's last page. Characters have grown and changed, and some have died, and that's it. The curtain closes on Gatsby. But that's not the case with Batman. No matter how many times he fights the Joker or Clayface or Catwoman, Batman will still be there. And I think one partial explanation for this is simply money and sales. People like what's familiar after all. So what's more likely, that you're going to buy a t-shirt with a random character on it that you've never seen before, or you're going to grab a shirt that has a bat symbol on it? It makes sense that as long as Batman sells, Warner Brothers and DC Comics will keep making movies and comics and TV shows based off of the character. I mean, it's simple business. And I don't think that this is some terrible thing, I think it's just natural. But like I said, this is only a partial explanation for why the character is popular. Because after all, if people didn't like the character, DC wouldn't produce any more stories about him. So that's the real question. Why do people, after so many years, still like the character? I think there's an assumption we make with that question that is actually wrong. You see, it's not that people like the character of Batman. People like the characters that share the name Batman. Like another Christian Bale played character, there exists an idea of Batman, but really, Batman isn't a single character. There are all these different versions of him. You have your silly Adam West Batman, you have your Batman with a gun from the 40s, you have your huge massive muscle Batman from The Dark Knight Returns, or Christian Bale Dark Knight Batman, or 80s Big Ear Batman, or whatever. Batman can be anything, and we know this, and everyone seems to be fine with it. There are only a handful of character traits that these characters share, such as being dedicated, protecting, believing in Gotham, etc. The idea of who Batman is is reinterpreted by every generation, and is oftentimes actually reinterpreted many times during a single generation. There are a few exceptions, but really, this isn't the case in any other medium. For instance, in the classic Crime and Punishment, Raskolnikov doesn't change based off of the generation. He has his lines, and he has his actions, and his thoughts, and they all belong to him. He will always be a poor student who kills some people and suffers for it, and that's all there is to it. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is he is a character who goes through a character arc, and by the end, some things are different. He, as a character, is set in stone. Again, like Gatsby, he has a beginning, a middle, and an end to his story. And this is true even of characters like Hamlet that are regularly played by different actors. For four centuries, Hamlet has had the same lines, regardless of each actor's interpretation of him. If you look at these two Batmans, they're obviously different, but they're both Batman. They're supposed to be the same character, but they're not. And again, I don't think this is a bad thing. I think that this is simply a normal byproduct of having something that goes on forever. Really, I think that there's a case to be made that when a new writer takes over Batman, or any legacy character for that matter, it's basically a different character anyway, just due to the fact that creators are different from each other and will focus on different aspects of each character. Some people like grimdark Batman, and other people like campy, goofy, bat shark repellent Batman. And though I certainly have my own idea of what the character should be, I don't think that people are wrong for liking one version or another. Frank Miller, who made a bunch of comics that include Daredevil, Sin City 300, and some of the best Batman books ever, was once asked which version of Batman is best. He replied that whichever is your favorite is the best. So I think that's why Batman has existed for so long, is because he's a new character each time you see him. I do think there's one problem with this approach though, which is that as you bend a character and reinterpret them, you risk turning them into something that is unrecognizable. For instance, my dad isn't a huge fan of Robert Pattinson's interpretation of Batman. To him, this isn't his Batman, so it might as well be a new character in his eyes, but that's simply a risky run. You want to take on the character that's fresh, but still captures the essence of the character, whatever exactly that means to you. I want to make it clear that I'm aware of the fact that Batman isn't the only character with multiple versions. I mean, honestly, that's kind of the norm for superheroes nowadays. But I think that the thing is that if you look at different interpretations of Spider-Man, for instance, they share a lot of the same characteristics and are pretty close to each other, even though they're different characters technically. But Batman encompasses such a breadth of different characters that it's impossible to not separate them from one another in your mind. I think Batman will be around forever because more so than any other comic book character, he lends himself to reinterpretation and adaptation. That's why he's been around for so long already, and that's why he'll keep sticking around. I can't see the future, but I would bet money that 100 years from now, Batman will still be protecting Gotham City in one form or another. Thank you for watching.
thought you'd unhinge me, did you? I fooled you. I kept my reason by reciting the multiplication tables backwards. 